after Hamas launched an unexpected large-scale air, sea, and ground war against Israel's civilians, the horrors of war were unleashed in a rapid counteroffensive. Thousands of innocent Israeli babies, children, young concert goers, and elderly men and women were killed, wounded, taken hostage by terrorists, or displaced due to a constant barrage of Hamas rockets and missiles launched against civilian locations, intentionally launched against civilian locations. This, my friend, this is a war crime. These are all war crimes. You don't target civilians. Civilized nations, civilized people protect civilians. But in Israel, that's how the enemy of Israel behaves. The Hamas-controlled Palestinian territory of Gaza became an overnight war zone. Israel broadcast messages throughout northern Gaza that all Palestinian civilians should evacuate to the south immediately. Israel dropped thousands of leaflets with detailed warnings that it would be unsafe for them to remain in the area soon to come under intense bombardment. Hamas continued firing rockets from northern Gaza incessantly, often from civilian locations so they could hide. Israel was forced to react with more clear warnings to the civilian population. Get out, get out now, go south. Of course, everyone hoped Egypt would open their border and allow these civilians running from Hamas, the, the, they're, they're captive in their own region to the brutality of Hamas. Many would have been thrilled to just cross the border into Egypt where other Arab brothers could have received them, but thus far it was just not to be. Unlike Hamas, who launched a calculated cold-blooded attack intentionally directed to murder, rape, torture, and kidnap Israel's civilians, Israel forewarned the Hamas murderers, exactly where Israel's counterattack would come, and they did it to beg the innocent civilians to leave the area in advance of this publicly broadcast bombardment that was announced and promised to come. Israel wanted to avoid unnecessary civilian casualties, but they were absolutely going to go after their enemies, Hamas. Hamas did everything they could to stop civilians from leaving because they would be losing their protection, their human shields. War crimes 